what's going on street drip welcome back to the channel drip squad thank you guys for tuning in man it's been an incredible incredible year last year can you believe it it's been a year with this car that's kaylee saying hi to you guys <laughs> so we're about to head out to their birthday party but also um during this process i'm also going to show you guys the video which is the title of the thumbnail is this car the best daily and tie that in with the one year review because it's the car's birthday as well one year with this car man what an incredible year has been and coincidentally my birthday is coming up it's next week kaylee's as well and jayla's was actually on the 18th so all of us including the car have birthdays in january believe it or not that's pretty crazy um wasn't playing by the way <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna be celebrating the girls' birthday, going to their birthday party today. But yeah, man, we're about to get into this video for you guys. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, make sure you like, because it is important for the channel to grow through you guys with the help and support. And uh, hopefully you guys appreciate the content. Um, but yeah, before I get into everything, we're gonna try to see if we can get a pull. Don't tell mommy, guys. What? <laughs> Girl's favorite part. <laughs> As you can see them cheering. <laughs> but we had to get a little pull for you guys. You know how that goes. Come on, there's nobody in front of me. It's so tempting. Alright guys, so you can see the wonderful snows on the road. Well, not on the road, but uh it snowed yesterday. It actually melted on the road. But you got the lovely trees nicely coated. It's always a dope vibe, dope scene. As you drive through these twisty turny roads. We're gonna go through all the updates. That I've done to the car since I actually did a lot in a year uh, believe it or not more than what I thought I was gonna do but we're here now and um, we're gonna talk about it and let you guys know how it's been but let me tell you guys just off this car has been the perfect perfect daily even with all the mods that I've done to it it's just it's it's so nice not just saying it because obviously I'm an Audi fanboy but man this thing just it takes care it handles it, um, it delivers perfectly. Ride is super, super comfortable. Um, even on long road trips that I've been on with this. And um, yeah, I mean, all in all, I'll show you what I have in the back. I don't know if you can hear that rattling. But uh, <laughs> we got some, uh, some ice and different stuff in the back as the uh, navigation goes. And just how daily it is, man. It, it's the perfect daily don't need an SUV you don't need a pickup you could use it but it's not needed um, for me I love the you know the style and driving capabilities of a of a sedan um, slash sports car let's see if I can get by here all right we good but yeah so that's the reason why I never went the SUV route um, never went the pickup route as well just because you know I love riding low I love that, you know, aggressive feeling and, um, you know, just feeling kind of planted, uh, which is why I lowered the car as well to get that better stability and it feels good. So that was one of the main reasons why I didn't go SUV. It was very close. I wanted to attempt it. Um, it would have been nice, um, but I just, I just couldn't pull the trigger, you know, just riding that high. Um, I'm not used to it. I've always been used to, you know, sedans and riding low. So this is why I went this route. All right, guys, we had an undisclosed location doing this review this way, man. Ooh, first off, we're going to start up front, so that's why I got the hood up. Man, look at this thing, man. It's been a year. It's been a lovely car. It's held up beautifully, held up really, really, really nice. So we're going to do things a little unorthodox. We're going to start with the mods that I've done because, like I said, it's been a great year been very blessed and fortunate to be able to do these mods on this car so quick um not sure what the average person does but you know I, I felt like i moved very very quick at all the mods that i've done um within a year and still more to come but man first off we're gonna start off with the first mod that i've done which was the uh 034 air intake that you see here you got the nice uh silicone tubing and then uh i switched out to the cts turbo inlet pipe 
If you guys haven't watched that video, make sure you go back and watch these videos because I did do a video on all these uh, specific mods. So if you guys want more detail, make sure you go back and check those videos out so you can uh, get an idea of the process and what all it took behind it. But a uh, very funny story behind that one. Um, and then moving forward, we have the CTS charge pipe that you see there look at that bad boy I love this that it's black I know I think a lot of them usually come red uh, some cars have blue but I like how this is black it keeps it that whole vibe that I want that OEM plus look that when you pull up the hood you know unless you know what you're looking at you're not really gonna know what's under here which is what I love very inconspicuous on the low that's kind of my style if you guys haven't uh, been able to tell by the what I've been doing to the car so far um but what is right back here check that out guys let me see if i can uh, pop this up for you bam you got the cts downpipe catless big boy right there that thing made this thing sound super alive very aggressive sounding on that love the way that came out and then um ecu wise we did do a stage two tune on 034 as well we did their stage one at first i tried it out for a little bit um was very very nice um i definitely recommend doing it that way versus doing stage one uh, versus doing the mods then jumping into stage two i would recommend doing stage one feel it out see how you like it it drives amazing the only thing i probably recommend if you want to stick with the stage one is at least just do the air intake uh, because that combination is going to make the car come alive. It's going to give you the sound you want. And it's definitely going to give you that extra boost of power that you don't have from the factory. It's going to make you feel like, like I've said, if you guys haven't seen the video, it makes you feel like this is what Audi should have done from the beginning with this car. Is just give it that stage one power and let it go. Uh, but obviously they can't do it due to, you know, all the other restrictions and all that other stuff behind the scenes. But um, yeah, so this has a stage two running really really nice i love the power that the stage two does especially when you got that bad boy cts downpipe um you could get other companies that make it carbon lab um apr i believe um integrated engineering a couple there's a bunch of other manufacturers that do it i just went cts uh because price wise it is an excellent price to get into downpipe um especially if being if, if it's your first time doing it or your first one i recommend them because the price is really good or actually on all their parts um and uh 034 makes it as well but theirs is really really expensive uh it does come with the heat shield um same style heat shield as what you see here like that crinkle aluminum style uh which makes it look nice but that price is crazy man <laughs> but um if you're gonna if you're gonna afford it and you want to do it hey i would definitely um get that done another thing i've done as you can see here stance wise is lowered so these are lowered on 034 springs um I did add 10 mil spacers in the front and you can see get a little lower how that sits there that is a shadow so it's actually kind of the way it is with the alignment it goes in slightly which is why I put 10 mil spacers just to make it come out a little bit and you can see it how it is right there get a good view how it sits pretty flush um, going all the way down I love the way it looks and when you're looking right above that looks nice on the back I did do 15 so 10 on the front 15 mil on the back and look how the back looks I love the way it makes it look with the kind of offset on um, the spacers you can kind of see it right there that's the spacer and you can see the profile on that look at that profile really really nice and you can kind of see the front as well that's probably a good angle right there look at that so it gives it that nice aggressive stance as you can see from here pull back a little bit more look how that's sitting sitting really nice and i've had it since when did i do it man i can't remember i think mm, i want to say may or something like that i've had it done since then um so it's been quite some time definitely had a long time to be able to sit and get its actual stance of what it looks like now this is probably my favorite view right there with the springs. Look at that. Another mod that we did, uh, appearance wise, is I did wrap the roof here black to match the uh, the gloss black on the antenna and also all the gloss black that I have on the uh, Maxton design all around kit, which is the next mod that I did. Um, so you got the side skirts, Maxton design. Look how that looks there. It gives it a little bit extra body language going on right there 
really really nice and then you got the uh, back that's how the back fins look and if you come around doesn't have a diffuser per se but it actually enhances the diffuser I know the car is dirty we are in winter if you can't tell well no snow on the ground but there will be tonight <laughs> so the car is, is dirty um, it was clean the other day it's probably the dirtiest I've had it uh, before getting that wrap done um, but that's the middle part and then look how the side part looks there so we got maxing all around and we also have the unfortunate incident if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you go back man come on guys help me out make sure you go back and watch my videos did a lot of videos I got a lot of videos in the vault definitely over a hundred and thirty at this point um, which to me is a lot I mean and obviously there's people out there were a lot more that have been in the game for a lot longer but I think for the time that I've been doing it getting used to getting accustomed doing it my way um, I think it's not bad I mean we definitely like I said got a big year coming a lot more videos coming down and um, yeah so this was one of the videos that uh, we did our road trip going to Jersey I accidentally bit the <laughs> bit the curb man look at that but anyway this is the uh, the maxed in front lip here as you can see looks really nice um, I do have the replacement coming on I just haven't put it yet because like I said we are in winter um, so I didn't want to put it on now get all that salt and nastiness but um, that being said this being on for pretty much a good part of a year almost it definitely held up really nice um, this thing can take a beating uh, not that I hit it that actually was my first hit but for the hit that I did take I held on pretty nice the bumper still intact uh, alignment still good on the um, bumper as well it didn't move it literally just cracked that piece right there which is pretty amazing uh, going back here let's see <laughs> losing track of all the mods that I did oh yeah so we did the black roof and then uh, we also wrapped the uh, the fin here which is another thing I think Audi should have done as part of the black package yeah you get the back uh, black badge um, but it doesn't come with that this was body colored and the roof was body colored to me aesthetically it looked a little off but take a look at that how it looks now let me know what you guys think so you got the uh, the glass up front for the huge uh, sunroof and then I did these parts these two parts right here which are black I believe it's kind of stinks because I think the 23 um, they now do this black so I'm like come on you guys didn't do it for that year but whatever but um, yeah they are doing it now I believe from the 23 models you can get this black uh, so these two pieces come black um, but I think it ties in because look you got the gloss black here and gloss black there uh, the antenna so making this all look uh, one it looks really nice and in the rear view the mirrors are black as well um, one thing I did add as well that you could see can't see the bottom but I'll show you this part and I'll speak to the rest of it is the uh, black tips so those are also ECS tips um, I believe those are three and a half so I did the quad tip because the factory ones on these are chrome um, and they look hideous so that's another thing that Audi should have done when they made this car um, when you get the whole black optics package black badge and everything they should have done the tips black um, I don't know where they kind of missed the missed the drop the ball on that one but they did and it looked weird having all that and that's the only thing that was so that was kind of irking me I had to go and get that done so now everything looks all um, coordinated in my opinion the only kind of color pop that you have you know obviously you got the red lights but you have the red calipers are the only thing that kind of has any type of color uh, pop to it and you got the uh, the s5 uh, badge there as well which this is normally uh, that chrome aluminum look so that's blacked out and you got the blacked out um, and then underneath um, another mod that I did that you can't see is we did remove the two front I don't know y'all tell me some people call them resonators uh, some people call them two front mufflers but basically after the downpipe when you got those two circular objects uh, that are underneath um, I believe they're front mufflers or pre-mufflers a lot of different names for them um, and then you got that big suitcase looking thing in the middle that I kept uh, but what I did remove are those two front uh, resonators and that I'll show you guys a little bit later it definitely gives you a lot deeper bass in combination with the uh, catless downpipe it sounds amazing the crackles and the pops are a lot louder a lot more pronounced and even just an idle um, 
which we'll get into that in a second. When I put it on idle, you guys can hear it. It revs really nice, really deep bass purr to it. It almost sounds like sort of V8-ish. Um, I might be going a little too far, but to me, it does sound something like that. Very, very aggressive. So, matter of fact, let's get into that now. We'll put the hood down, start it up. Uh, it's not going to be a cold start, but you guys will kind of get the idea of the uh, RS startup that it does with this tune. So didn't get the pops because like I said, it's uh, not fully warmed up. Usually after uh, a nice warm up, this thing with the pops definitely sounds hard. Um, so I'm going to let you guys hear that once I let it run as you see now. Um, so that is one of the, basically one of the features that I really, really love is that sound. When you're coming up to a red light, you know, you're slowing down or a stop. When it starts uh, downshifting, oh man, those pops are, they're not a, like really annoying loud that you can't take and it just bothers everybody, but you definitely hear it. Um, and you hear it inside as well. And especially if you have the windows down, um, you hear those pops. It kind of nice little subtle pops that, that happen as you downshift. And then if you put that bad boy in neutral um, and give it a nice rev, ooh, that thing wakes up, wakes up a lot of people. Um, so we'll see that once this warms up, we'll get into that. Uh, speaking of the exhaust and the pops and everything, uh, with the Catless downpipe. So a lot of people, um, myself included, I knew uh, when I did my research that there would be some sort of um, smell to it from reading the uh, blogs and uh, Audi Zine, all those type of websites and stuff. People did mention it, but they didn't mention, um, like say for example for me, I garage this car. So when I pull up in the garage after, um, I don't back in, I just pull in straight in. So when I pull in after parking, it definitely gets all in the garage. You could definitely smell it very, really, really strong. Um, normal driving, you don't, it doesn't come in the cabin. Um, like as you can see now, usually you can see the smoke trail going there a little bit right there. So usually the smoke, um, not the smoke, <laughs> the exhaust fumes, um, they're traveling either up or kind of away from you. It would have to be like a really, I'd say maybe a windy day that's sunny, but you have the windows down. You might be able to smell a little bit of it, um, but it's mainly if you're pulling into like closed compass, for example, like that garage right there. If I were to pull in and you were parked within my vicinity, um, you would smell it, um, but definitely in a garage. So that's one thing to take note. If you did want to go catless, be prepared for a distinctive uh, exhaust smell. Some people don't mind it. Some people do. Some people gives them a headache. Uh, if you got kids, uh, this is my daily. Um, like I said, it, the kids don't complain too much. I mean, I know they mentioned it before and said it kind of stinks. Uh, my wife doesn't like it, but I'm used to exhaust fumes and exhaust smells. Um, I don't plan on keeping this downpipe for a very, very long time. I may switch this out to a catted uh, 200 cell which uh, will give you very similar performance minus those fumes. Um, so that's something I might do down the road. That'll probably be tie into the other thing I was gonna mention. My only kind of sort of regret you could say uh, from everything that I've done and uh, you know what all this car has would probably be that Catless downpipe. Um, like I said, I'm not you know 100% against it but it, it does it is something that i personally don't like and i i do look to change down the road so we'll probably do that sometime i don't know way later this year um and another thing that i didn't mention is the wheels so these are stock wheels i didn't do anything to them um like i mentioned i only did the spacers front and back but we do have wheels coming guys we do have wheels coming we got some new 20s coming new shoes coming that's going to make this car pop going to take it to the next level and definitely stand out um, from any other um, S5, RS5 that you've seen. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming possibly in about another month. Um, 
but I may or may not throw it on depending on how the weather is here. If we start to taper out with the snow and it kind of looks like, you know, it's not really going to be coming much storms, I may throw them on. Um, <laughs> I'm very anxious when I get new parts in the car, if you guys haven't tell, uh, how I moved this year. I moved quick. And when I get that idea, I'm going with it. I'm flying. So I may put them on. Um, I don't know. Uh, but look out for that. That video is going to be coming. We got other big videos coming down the pipeline for you guys. So I hope you guys have subscribed. If you haven't already, make sure you comment below. Here it is right here. You can check me out on IG if you got any other questions. Street Drip 27 YouTube. Obviously, you're watching. That's the YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Turn off your notifications. Turn on your notifications, not off. Turn on your notifications so that way every time I put a new video, you guys will be notified and you can watch and, uh, you know, be a part of the build, be a part of the growth of the channel. Um, tying into that catless downpipe is another thing. Here in Massachusetts, we do have to get these guys called state inspection stickers where every year you got to bring in your car. They pretty much almost like going through TSA when they strip search you. And <laughs> that's kind of like what they do to your car here. Um, it's gotten more um, strict over the years as far as what they check. Um, you know, your normal tire tread, window tints. Um, if it's lowered too much, I believe that's another thing. Um, exhaust, uh, emissions, like all, all that. You guys are pretty much familiar. I know every state kind of has their own version of it. Some states don't at all. Uh, shout out to Florida. <laughs> Florida, you could drive your car with pretty much slicks. They don't care. You can have a crack going down the windshield. You can have one headlight out and you're good to go in Florida. You can have super dark. You can't even see anything inside or out uh, tints. You could tint the front. Eh, Florida's crazy. Um, but yeah, we do have that here. With the catalyst downpipe, I was able to finesse your boy was able to get through and get my sticker. So shout out to the guy who hooked me up. I'm not going to put him out there. Obviously, I don't want to put him on blast. But if you know who you are, shout out to you. Big thanks on that. Big thanks on the lookout. It's okay because later on this year, uh, should I tell you guys? I don't know, man. I've been, uh, I've been holding a big secret from you guys. Uh, I, I'm probably going to wait on another video to tell you. But... Um, I don't know, maybe I'll throw hints here and there to let you guys know. And, um, yeah, I can't do it now. So you guys just have to make sure you subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned and watch every video so you know what's going to happen. But it's going to be big things happening for the channel. Uh, good things, not bad. Good things are going to be happening for the channel. Big things are going to be happening for the channel. Better opportunities to bring you guys better content. Um, so I'll give you that kind of hint-ish if you want to run with that and try to make up something with it. Um, but, yeah, man, it's it's... I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I'm all in as it is, as you guys can see. Uh, normally, I don't do this. Too, I don't do too much to my cars. Um, but as, as you can see, everything that I've done, it's probably the most I've ever done in any car that I've had um, with more coming. So I hope you guys appreciate that content. Any of you guys got an S5 out there, I appreciate you guys reaching out, letting me know, you know that you're getting your car. As, as much as you're excited, I'm excited for you because I know that feeling. It's, it's amazing. So, you know, I hope you guys, if you're still waiting on your car to come in, the, your order, uh, hopefully it comes in soon and you guys can get this feeling and get to experience what I'm talking about. Um, and watch my videos. Um, ask me any questions. I'm here. I'm an open book. You know, you guys know who've hit me up on Instagram already or even in the regular comments. Uh, you guys comment out to me and ask me, you know, different questions. I pretty much let you know everything. Um, I know with prices, it's kind of hard. Um... It, it, it's a little weird because a lot of people ask me prices for different stuff and I want to tell you but a lot of the times is it's like you know if I get a certain deal with a shop I don't want to you know call them out and then everybody come in oh you know I want that deal um, or like for example oil change every state is different oil changes uh, prices are changing constantly so if I tell you I got an oil change you know for $80 you go get it it might not be 80 it might be you know 200 so it gets a little weird, you know, I'm, I'm not a, afraid of telling you guys I will if you really insist on knowing um, I know a lot of people ask just to get ideas on pricing uh, Which why I wouldn't be opposed to that too um, But for me, it's just I don't know. It's a little weird just asking people. Hey, you know, how much did you pay for the wheels? Not how well you just appreciate that I got wheels, you know, ask me where I got it from. Okay, that's something different But I'm gonna be digging in people's wallets. <laughs> I don't know for me. It's just something weird I, I don't like asking people pricing um, you know, I ask for advice and tips and stuff like that. But, uh, hey, to each his own. But, yeah, man. So, moving on to the final 
most recent uh, mod that I've done that man has been so crazy it's been my favorite favorite mod if you guys haven't seen go back and watch that video BAM if this is your first time seeing it there it goes guys we got two JL TW3's custom box we got the 750 by 1 amp right there as you can see we got the custom street drip logo we got street drip in the colors as well the black and gold showing out shout out to luxury details getting me right that thing pounds um, I wish you could be sitting right or oh, standing right here so you guys can can feel uh, what I'm talking about and obviously it's a little hard to kind of portray it through camera but um, man this thing hits it sounds so clean there is zero rattle um, when you're sitting inside in, the, in the, even the back seat or front seat I've tried all uh, angles on this this thing hits and it sounds so clean it pretty much sounds like um, like I said before if you take the factory Bang & Olsen and just multiply it by 20 that's the the clean sounding bass it just it's it rips and it's not obnoxious um, it has the bass knob you can't turn it down which is pretty cool but for me it gives me that old school vibe without being too too crazy you know i could have got the w7s i could have got the kicker l7 you know but i don't want my <laughs> windshield cracking i don't want all this you know coming apart or whatever but um that's something i probably would have done back in the day but the kids love it it's just enough bass for them uh enough for me um it's definitely definitely a lot more powerful than i originally thought i didn't think it was going to hit this hard so I'm going to kind of give you sort of a demo so you guys can see the dribble of the sub. Um, but yeah, let's see how that goes. Check that out, guys. Ooh. It hits so hard. Look at that, man. It sounds so crazy inside. Let me see if I can take you guys around. Kind of get an idea. Damn, that sounds so crazy. Oh boy. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have a similar setup? Do you guys have a system in your uh, S5, RS5, uh, maybe even a Q5? I know those are popular for system setups, SQ5s. But look at that. You still get your storage. Um, you still have massive space. This comes off. This panel comes off as well. Those seats go down. So if you really need to, you can get your full space. And the crazy thing is, the way I set up this box, or I had them set up this box, it's removable. So if I really wanted to, I can disconnect the uh, the cables, just leave the wires there and remove the box. You now have full access to your whole trunk. So crazy, but I love the setup that he did. You don't see anything popping out, no wires, nothing like that. It just came out so clean. And then we're still able to use the factory mat. We just kind of cut uh, that exact space right there, which is what it needs. So I get my full use of my trunk, which is, this is pretty much the most I use anyway. Uh, very rarely I use the whole uh, trunk there unless we're going on vacay. But yeah, man, that's what it looks like right there. All right, guys, I think she's warmed up enough. Let's uh, give you guys some of those infamous pops and bangs, baby. Let's go. <laughs> you. Oh shit, I feel like I gotta leave before the uh, <laughs> before somebody gets called, somebody comes comes looking for me. But man, that thing sounds so, so brutal. And this is out in the open, this is even in like some, you know, covered. Um, I'll try to swing over there before I leave under that garage and see if I can get a, um, a couple pops for you guys on the way out uh, before them boys come looking for me. <laughs> Stay tuned.
right guys before we go you know what we got to do it's only right Oh, all right we gotta go we gotta go it's getting hot all right guys before we go it's only right that we give you a launch control baby y'all ready y'all ready all right here we go Ooh. all right now we really gotta be out of here they're gonna be on us holy crap damn every time every time i do it man always always gets me super excited when i do that man launch control on this thing is vicious it's definitely worth it snaps your head and neck back in the seat oh damn so crazy sheesh all right guys so in closing is this the best daily as you've seen in the thumbnail man yes it is for all the reasons i've shown you and probably more that you guys know or can think of um there's there's no reason why you couldn't make this your daily it's literally um kind of like you know those old school well not old school they still have them but those switch the switch knives that you could pull out and there's like different types of those little pocket knives that's how this car is you literally can you you have multiple cars in one so let's say you're driving and you don't want to hear this exhaust like you do now you could just put that thing comfort look you don't hear anything quiet silence so crazy it's like you you got multiple vehicles in one and then if you just want to chill and cruise quiet you could do it if you want to be loud and aggressive pop it back into sport dynamic you can do it um you know, it's, it's, it's really, really uh, such a versatile car, which is why I love. And then you got the space that you wouldn't think a car like this should have or could have, but it does. And you got all this type of storage space that you could be using, uh, seats going down and all that. Uh, as a daily, to me, there's nothing better than this. Um, I love it. It's just everybody I put in a car that rides um, with me or gets to drive it, they're, they're blown away. They're like, are you serious? Like... They're just super impressed as what uh, uh, what uh, this car can do and how it performs. Let me know what you guys think of the video. What you get? To, what you guys think of the car? Um, you know everything that I've done to it. Um, like I said, there's still more coming down for this car. Um, wheels coming pretty soon, and you know we're just gonna have fun this year. That's that's my main goal is just to have fun. Last year was all about you know kind of playing, um, sort of catch up. Not really, just you know as in doing all the mods that I wanted to do. But this year, I'm just gonna have fun with it, man, and just enjoy this car to the fullest, drive it to different places, um, and hopefully, you know, take you guys along. Hopefully you guys are subscribed. Make sure you do that so you guys can tag along and see what all goes down. And I'm looking to meet uh, more subscribers. So a lot of you guys have been hitting me up on IG and uh, on YouTube as well in the comments. Um, we have a huge uh, Audi here, uh, Audi fan base here in Boston. A lot of you guys are hitting, but I need you guys to come out. I need to see you guys at the car meets, at the car shows. Bring your stuff out. Show it out. Come on. Uh, maybe you'll catch one of you guys out and about. Um, you know, get to share some some ideas and you know share some love for the cars. So make sure you guys give me that like, give me that subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned for bigger and better things. I appreciate you guys very very much. Street trip. We'll see you on the next one. We're out.